Alright, May 24 developers discussion. Serenity Teapot load optimization. Let's uh, go. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so today Paimon had a chat with the developers, see what they have for in store for us. Special message Serenity Teapot load optimization. Will there be a higher load limit for the Serenity Teapot? Travelers have sent us much feedback regarding the limit regarding the load limit for the Serenity Teapot. Paimon has brought this to the attention of the developers. Shush, don't mention it, I do. So in version 1.6, the developers have increased the load limit of the Serenity Pot, but the actual load the travelers can reach will depend on how much your device can support. Okay, so what that means is you can probably put even more stuff inside of one room, but that is going to depend on how much your either your PC or your phone can handle. Okay, <laughs> all right. They basically uncapped the load limit for Serenity Pot, which is awesome. I wanted to put more furnishings outside because of how much I wanted to decorate it, but I could not because of the load limit. Next, the dialogue with the teapot spirit is cumbersome. To get to the shop, trust rank, and building menus, you have to go through the dialogue again. Okay, anybody who's been through Serenity Pot knows this pain. Okay, whenever you're whenever you're done talking. All right, so here we are in my Serenity Pot, and if you look closely at Tubby and talk to him or her, let's say that you want to go to trust rank. And you're done getting your what's this? You're gonna done getting your thing, your your jar of riches, and then you leave, and then you want to go to create furnishing. You have to talk to Tubby again. <laughs> so that means that in the next update, you'll be able to go back. Like let's say you click this, and then you open the trust rank menu, right? There's probably going to be a return button, either on the upper left or upper right, where you can go back, and then you can go to this menu again and then switch to the create furnishings and then there's gonna be a return button here or they're gonna switch this out like this is gonna be a return button then you're gonna go back to the menu again next when will serenity teapot have paved roads okay if you have seen our serenity teapot it's nothing but grass <laughs> now, i wanted to put paved roads or at least make a path that doesn't have leaves just so I can make a path, right? And show players where I want them to go. Like say I want to make a road that goes outside there. But right now they don't have that. So in 1.6, they're going to implement that, let's say. They're going to implement paved roads. So you can put a road here, continue that road going down there, make a paved road over there at the beach. So you can connect all of your houses, let's say. That's the point of the paved road system. When will the room on the second floor in the Serenity Pot open? Alright. From version 1.6 onwards, the rooms on the second floor in the Serenity Pot will open for decoration. Don't forget to spruce the place up. Now, so welcome to the interior of my Serenity Pot. Now, if we go to the second floor, you will see a bunch of pets. <laughs> you will see that the doors cannot be opened. Well, in 1.6, you're going to be able to open those and decorate it as well. That means we can have a proper bedroom for us <laughs> to decorate as well as a bunch of other rooms. I don't know what's it, what's it gonna be. But it's all going to depend on you and how you're going to decorate that. Next, will characters I own be able to make themselves at home in my realm? There will be more details about the companion move-in feature later on. That means that, I wait, let's go back to this other screen. If you check the trailer, you can see some of the characters either like sitting in the corner like this or standing right next to the door or something like, like here maybe or something like that. Like in one of the videos, you can see Yanfei and Ganyu. Ganyu was dozing off like under a tree or something. And then Yanfei was right next to a house. If you, guys, if you guys could remember that from the trailer. But they're not saying anything yet. I guess that means that it is going to be implemented eventually. It's very inconvenient that I cannot use the crafting bench in co-op mode. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so 
finally we can use the crafting bench in co-op mode that means that you can stay in co-op start crafting and then go back to hunting right away the travelers have spoken and the developers have listened improvements to the crafting bench co-op mode are coming crafting items at the crafting bench in co-op mode will be implemented in version 1.6 the unlocking of recipes will be subject to the traveler's own progress. That means that in co-op, you can you can craft stuff based on your own world progress and not the host's world progress. So if the if the host you're going into is like what level 20 and you're level 50, that means that he cannot craft what he can't craft the waypoint portals yet. You can't craft the resonance stones, I think, and as well as what the food thing. Uh, where's the food thing? You can't craft the food, uh, the food maker. <laughs> what, what was that called? I forgot. And uh, uh, some of these other things, but you can though, because it's based on your own progress, not on the host's progress, which is very nice. I do think that's going to. Uh, start a bit of problems because once you start farming well I mean you guys ask for your friends you know you're supposed to ask your friends anyway if you're gonna farm these things and then start upgrading them from there you can do that in co-op but I don't think it's going to be a problem because most of the people here know why <laughs> know why other people are visiting it's either to farm mats or I don't know do do some fun things right Okay, lastly, is there a way to locate co-op teammates faster? Alright, now if you've been to co-op, right, so they're going to be fixing that in the next update and you'll be able to locate your teammates quicker. Here it says here that when teammate is not within the range of the currently displayed area of the map, a teammate marker will be displayed at the edge of the map. Players can click on that marker quickly and locate their teammates. That means that when you open your map and they're not in this screen here, like let's say they're in leeway down there. Leeway. Mm. You can see their marker, like right here or something, and then you can click on that and then you'll be quickly dashed. Or like, you'll quickly move to their lo location. And then let's say they're over here and then they're like right here on the marker. Then it'll move you there. And then you can start clicking on whatever <laughs> and start going to them. Right, that's going to be it for the developers update. But I have a few links down below marking, well, let's say, I don't know, maybe some leaks. But I don't want to post leaks. <laughs> I'll just uh, put it in the description down below <laughs> for you guys to see it. You know what? I'm not going to cover this because this is a leak. And... <laughs> I don't want to show this but I will show you guys the link to both the developers discussion and the events preview of what's coming in 1.6 I don't know if this is a leak or not but I'd rather not cover it because it's not officially by miHoYo from their website and yeah I guess I'll keep it at that okay so to sum it all up the 1.6 developers discussion is going to be about adding new features to the serenity pot as well as adding more what uh, slice of life quality of life yeah there you go <laughs> quality of life uh, features to the co-op mode in genshin there you go right that's going to be it for the video like if you found this video helpful comment down below what you think of the update if you guys if there's something missing and you'd like to add your opinion into that uh, dislike or something if you guys <laughs> thought that this update is crap press that subscribe button and press the real subscribe button which is the bell right there so i can keep you updated on all the content that i'll be posting for you guys okay that's going to be it see ya bye